Previously on Alan Wake. Yo, can I get some clothes? I'm naked here. In the face. Let's go. Get some. Oh. Let's go. Finally, holy shit. Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Two. Parts two. Anders, where did you Chapter go? three. All Let's of a go. Sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. They were doing some trippy thing right where he like wasn't around. actually there. If the floodings receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Hell yeah. Alex Casey, how am I still? Should look around. Place? With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. Whoa. What's up, bud? Hey, I'm a I'm a be be a good boy. You're a good boy, right? Oh no, I guess not. Oh fuck. Come over here. Come over here. Damn. Poor puppy. I have no idea where we're going. Oh, we gotta take a left. There. I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Okay, so I did do okay. I have no idea. We definitely skipped something. I didn't I couldn't find the other flooded area. I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. It's just what's making noise, bro. To the parking lot, man. To the parking lot. You know, you always get stuck right there. That's crazy. All right, let it go. You ready to go? Let's go. Ooh wee. Mr. Wake. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. It's gonna lock in, play this all night. Oh, yeah.
Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. <clears throat> They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. I'm trying to see. Was he in the first game? Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. His alter ego, right? Scratchy. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's, it's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Game looks good. Game looks great. It's dark. Late night. Fuck. Tension of one. Waking up in places with no memory of how I got there. But how the movement is a trippy. Whoa. What I didn't need another mug shot in the fucking tabloids. Hey, we're fine playing this. Alan Wake. Let's go. Let's go. Movie vibe. <laughs> John Wake. John Wake. Oh. Come on. Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, well, this stuff has to be from the previous game. Like, I feel like the band. So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. Yes. We both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. But. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This might Listen, be the right. book that I, I haven't written Scratch anything. wrote or some shit. He's so humble. Okay. Well, but seriously, I found the the structure mm. of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself. We're in the Matrix. I told you. Said in the first one. Through the story he is writing, uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. 
That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? <coughs> Are we all in your story, Tom? <coughs> I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> what? Yeah. Thank you for one of the strange... What? What does that mean? My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear. This is great, bro. Actually. Back to the game. Back to the Matrix. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. The frame salve. The colors in this game are really what good. It's dark, but some kind of joke. Interesting. I love dark I never cinematography, but his this felt like a bad dream. It's a dark. Could make a good horror story. It's a Donnie Darko. I mean, it looks good on the OBS now, which is great. I think. We can't. Mr. Door. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or and Mr. Looks... Door before. None of it Mr. felt Door. right. Was I losing my mind? Was I losing my mind? Mm. Happy Halloween, Mm. Hey, what's the code? I locked in. Six, six, Anybody? six. Fuck. Now I have to Ooh. find the code myself. Um, seven, Great. seven, seven. Um, three, three, three. No. Uh, one, oh, one. Seven, four, five, four. Nine, two, oh. Eight one eight nine nine nine. Yeah, okay, no, nothing's gonna work. Yo, Old gods looks, of Asgard. That Old gods of Asgard. Yeah, you know, like the first game. Six six five. Oh, dude, we were so close. We said six 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 first, right? We we're so close, man. Ooh wee. Let's go. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. That's just writing. What was that? It the was message. you writing, bud. Oh, impossible to say. But there was something in the studio with me. Yeah, the studio. I had to get out. It's not a green room, per se. So yeah, you're just in the state. You're like in the stage room. Someone's coming after you, bud. Let's go. Yeah, that shit is badass, bro. I fuck with this. This is the ritual to beat you all. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced. About riding here for countless Yo. days. Yo. Yo, let me know if I should replay the first one. Because I have it. Just. If anybody wants leave. me to actually. This wasn't the way out. What, what, what is the way out, Alan? Is this chalkboard? Chalkboard, Alan? A plot board for mapping out a story. 
cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. What is going on? But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. So my guys got a plot, plot board too. God damn. I was just stuck typing. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I used my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. Game's crazy. Okay, we're back here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! On your way out of the talk show. Can't go out of here. Just gonna replay it? Welcome back to the show. So, Alan. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh... <laughs> it's just hard. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. Dead, bro. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My Dead, own reflection bro. Reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Yeah, the, the, the music in the Great background, job, bro. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> well, we're here again. What is this nightmare? We're back here again. Gotta get out of here. What is this loop? Can we go through here now? No. So can I go to the cafeteria? And then I just went right to you. Oh, we can go through the door. Oh shit, okay. Hello? Who goes there? Are you in the toilet?
Who went on the toilets? What's up, bud? There you are, Tom. Oh. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Ma. Not one without the other. <laughs> nah. Good to see you. Of course, Tom. The Tom. work will instruct its maker. Who's I Tom? I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. The soup. Uh. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor? No. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even well, into who, a heap Why of is he fix. telling me Tom? Just remember to turn on the lights. For sure. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Two makes two, Tom. And a man with a tool can build his own exit. For it's sure. a shoebox in the basement where you left it. Where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. The Lord's purse? Generous key. Thanks, bud. Let's go. Let's go to the basement. Let's go. Let's see what this basement... I saw for this game is so dark, man. Like, are we going forward or... Okay, we're going down here. The lighting is cool. Very green. I dig it. <laughs> An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Hmm. I need a lamp. Is it rechargeable? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light. Over Whoa! When the what light jumped into my the lamp, fuck? the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay. I held the light now. Darkish foot. How are we going up here? Let's go. It's so dark. Okay. wants to drown me I'm losing myself I have to fight it I have to remember the clicker the light switch I lost it but I you have left. the lamp now the lamp the switch was cut from this place is a nightmare <laughs> not real and yet more real than anything the danger and the horror real it feeds off my mind twisting whatever it takes into Loco. psychotic reality I'm trapped here I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. Keep failing. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? Bottom of an ocean, it's not an ocean, and a lake, that's not a lake. It's an ocean. So, oh, yeah, we totally were gonna skip that music. Alright, have some coffee, real quick. 
Yeah, I should have made some actual coffee. That'd be nice. Might make some mid midway playing this. Wait, no. Not a doorway. Where are we going? This place is wow. This this game looks great. The payphone was ringing. What the hell? Somehow I knew the call was for me. This game looks great, actually, man. It's like straight up Matrix. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure called there it's the I, the Do place turned to actually like New York I, I City. I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. Bro. I, I'm the visuals you. are pretty good in this Hello? game, man. Hello. Subway pass. Yeah. Game looks great. Alright, initiation to Casey. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Um This looks crazy. I just don't know where I'm going exactly. Man, this looks like low key skid row. What? No charges. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the Where? entrance was missing. Oh, I got him out. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. There's like a person there, bro. Man, this game looks great, man. I don't even feel like running around. Just walking around in here is just eerie and s like... The colors are really great. <laughs> I don't know where the subway station exactly is. We found a map. Um, there's a TV. The dirt, the dirt, the dirt place. All right. Man, this is, looks crazy. Great. Okay, all the the night springs. I feel like that was uh one of the TV shows from the first game. I don't know where where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Oh man! I gotta figure out the I gotta figure out this light situation. I don't know how what we're doing. The 
lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. I mean, there's lights everywhere, bro. I mean, neon doesn't count. One eternity later. It says illumination. And then an arrow. And there's a huge ass light here. So, I'm gonna try this way. Initiation call of the word. Cutscene. Let's go. Is this the way it was on the page. What the hell? It's Casey. Yeah. Oh, hey. We met at Door Show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? This game is crazy. Stay here. No, wait. I need a gun. No chance. Find out what happened, I guess. Kinda dark now. Casey! Damn it. A little dark now. The lighting was great until it got dark. I remember nice. Getting this better. Alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Uh, um, I'm just gonna take the flashlight. Ooh. We got the scrap. This was an echo of the books I had written Bro. for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Well, he's gone. Now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Bro. I'm kind of digging this game. It's got a, like, really cool vibe. It's not really Resident Evil. I can't really put my... Tom, like tongue on it, you know what I mean? I don't even think that's a good expression. But we are going in a loop. Um. Go up the stairs. I guess not. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna go this way. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, the rest of the shadows block my way. Oh, shit. Fuck. Holy shit. Shadow people. Let's go, motherfucker. The shadows 
faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. Bro. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, this is actually bringing me back to playing the first one. Like, you the different points on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They clear the path. This is definitely bringing me back to the the, the old gameplay. I could use for the sure. To open the Just a different camera now. angle. Yeah. Yo. Or can we go down? Question is if should we have gone up or down? I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Huh. Okay, so Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, I see. We needed another light from somewhere else. Wherever we can get that, I have no idea. I'm here. What's up? Oh, what's up? They don't scare me that way, bud. Bro. Are we going up this way? This game's crazy. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. I tried to wash away the sins of this city. But some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain. Well, some, that was a secret thing I grabbed. What's up, bud? Hello. What? Oh, hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Hey, you're, uh, I've seen you in a TV show before. Sorry, have we met? Yeah, I know, right? Again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Seen you. Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? Warlandor. No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling sure supplies you? while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Yeah, this guy's. I don't know if I trust this guy, but. See you around, Alan. What the fuck? Yo, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Do we gotta return this shit? Or... Hey. Oh, 
shit. Shit's crazy. Okay, we can go through here. We're safe. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't think we had to go through that bullshit. Okay. Okay, since we have a light, I believe we can take that and then take this. Do I have a ticket? Oh. Ooh -wee. I took a coffee break. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half forgotten memory. An echo. the dots from one murder to the next inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map caldera street station the name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet i had a flash of inspiration the ghost of my fictional detective a story thread i could use in my writing this cord is just not connecting a location i had a story thread i would put them together write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place selecting that button things clicked into place the story rang true i was making progress the what dark place what? reacted to my story the way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way Bigfoot? forward. I think that's Bigfoot. <laughs> Looks like Bigfoot. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Lost. Yeah, lost. Head Through this way, yeah. The tunnels were a maze. <clears throat> the blood trail led me on. It's going crazy. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Collapse Inspiration tunnel. for the story that would lead me deeper. Found a new scene. Go to it. The new scene I had found was important for the story. That changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. They had love to be on his case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone Coffee. that gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. I wonder if you come back here as a uh... another echo lingered here, 
a source of inspiration. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime. I had a new idea, a new story thread. The scene had changed. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. A twisted Bible. Hey, hey what's up, bud? Alan. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. <clears throat> And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else, a different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Alternate realities, maybe. Let's go. Hey now, bud. Oh, this fucking game is kind of... Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. This is crazy, this game. Come on now. Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Holy shit. Can I get that shotgun? This ladder, I assume. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. <laughs> my I God! A new scene to use, a new setting. Uh, we can do both, right? Or we can do the murder goal, which I think that's. What it honestly wants us to do. I changed <laughs> the story. And with that, the dark wow. place changed. Wow. Get some. Oh, shit. Hey, bud. Don't move like that. It's trippy. Whoa. Hey, now. Hey, now. 
I feel like I'm like running out of ammo, but um, I guess not. Dude, this game is insane. All right, I'll go back up a little bit. There you go. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. Uh, the this game's kind of good, man. I, I'm really enjoying this game. Yeah. Charming. A sick and twisted story. It worked. The subway car had become a burn disk. I could get through it now. Oh shit. What the fuck? This is crazy. This game is very weirdly crazy. Close this door. Yep. I think we can go through this door. Unlock this door, yeah. Nice. I'm a genius. Back around, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Crazy. for the story. Oh shit. I don't have any flashlight shit. Holy 
changed into the murder cult's hideout. But sure. Ellen Wake. The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. scared whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics it didn't change the facts the cult was messing with things no one should mess with the ritual was a vital part of the story the key to reaching the murder site the new story beat fit the story perfectly What? <clears throat> yeah, I was assuming we're going this down this way. Okay, so I'm assuming we can dodge some of this shit because oh, there's here so yeah, I have I have nothing oh that's a real person or I don't know dream person Shit. Jesus. Oh shit. No, I was say, I'm gonna run, bro. I got no flashlight shit. That end? Oh shit. Guess we are going that way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fight me inside here. Shit. 
the fuck was that, bro? Scurry, bro. Holy crap. Nothing's in there. Oh, great. There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had words. I this? Ah, our first upgrade. Okay. So many we're going through here. We want to see if there's some ammo in here. Nice, right, so we got some batteries. Um. Society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Wait. Hey yo. Yo, that looks like himself, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. The ritual in the collapsed tunnel. Okay. Assuming we're going this way. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. <laughs> Crazy. Now it's open though, I believe. Yo. Oh shit. Where are we going? Oh shit. Where are we going, buddy? Oh shit. It was gone. Okay. The tunnel was open now. I could get it. Whoa. Ah. Oh, don't look behind you. Michael Bay's coming. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh, crap. We escaped before. Michael Bay. I remembered now. He was always out there, <laughs> hunting me. Man, the way the shadows bounce off—I mean, the ray tracing is crazy. The tes tessellation of all the rocks, man. Right? That's what's—it's the word. 
What is this? What is this? Where are we? Okay, we're, I think we're going more into what's her the other chick's world, bro. This shit's like. Sh Was a little shroomy, bro. Oh, this guy again, bro. This poor bastard. God damn it. Just shield your eyes. Oh, yeah. More black boxes. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. Yeah, what? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. This story is kind of crazy, bro. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Crazy good. Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Ooh. End of part. Yeah, you know what it is. Hell yeah, bro. Um, I think we're we're gonna call it for part two. Like, comment, subscribe. Probably get get on Marvel for a three. I think that comes out right. But yeah...